Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Today we're going to tour the very popular Anderson Hall neighborhood in Fishers, Indiana. We're going to take a look at two homes, walk through them. I know one house you're really going to like because I know I did. Hey, it just spells quality and pride of ownership. It's just so evident the second you walk in the door. Plus as an added bonus, stick around to the end and I'll share a uh, monthly market update with you. Hey, let's go for a ride. We're entering the Anderson Hall neighborhood. Um, this one was built uh, oh, within the last 10 years and prices here last year ranged from 477 to 735. We're going to take a look at 10867 Mossy Rock Drive. One thing neat about this uh, subdivision is they've designed it to be very walkable. Uh, the houses are set close to the sidewalk with great big nice front porches. Um, the tract of that way, the garages are all located off the back uh, where there's, oh, I wouldn't call it an alley, but that's really what it is, I guess, legally. Um, but at any rate, this house is listed by High Garden Real Estate, and as always, I can help you with any house that's uh, listed in the state. Let's go inside and see what it looks like. Okay, we're inside, and I think you're going to like this. This is a 2,239 square foot. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two story. Um, you walk in, and you have a really nice foyer here, attractive stairway going up. Right to your left is an office. They've got it set up as a den, but you know, you can make it a kid's playroom or any number of different things, but uh, nice space right off the entryway. You coming in, you got a coat closet, and to your left is powder room. Everything is in excellent condition. Gathering room here with the fireplace, they've got the big TV. Uh, Fireplace is nicely done. Really nice hardwood floors. You've got uh, big open space here. You walk in and this is a nice island with plenty of room for stools underneath. You got a great view here of uh, your gathering room, all open, dining area here, room for a hutch or credenza or buffet table as you would like. The kitchen itself, nice granite countertops. Uh, got the black stainless steel appliances. This is the same type that I have in my house. I really like them. Uh, attractive cabinets, architectural, plenty of uh, counter space. You do have the gas range, which uh, if you've cooked on gas, you're never going to go back to electric. But uh, nice kitchen here and open area all the way around. And then right past that you have like a butler's pantry which is real convenient um, with cabinetry. We have our mechanicals back in here. And then you have a real good size pantry. So not a ton of square feet but very very nicely done. Back past the dining area, you have a mud room, laundry room with the counter. You have three closets in here. You have a place for uh, people to take off their boots and store their hats and mittens and stuff, hang their book bags. You have another closet and a coat closet. So nice storage and then this takes you into the garage which is really good size because it's a two-car garage but you have this space here which is about a eight foot bump out so you can store all your stuff um, <laughs> they have but I mean there's plenty of room to do it it's not like you get out of your uh, vehicle and your elbows are hitting the wall um, you gotta like that So I imagine this is the way most people come into the house. That's how it works, right? You never use the front door after you buy the house. Let's go upstairs and see what we have. Uh, the other thing you have in here is tall ceilings. I should mention that because it really makes a difference. They have nice crown mold on it all the way around. Gives it a real nice look. 
attractive hardwoods. This is a wide stairway. I like that. It makes it a lot nicer on moving day. Come upstairs to your left is uh, the hall bath, double vanities, uh, tub and shower. You have the taller ceilings up here too, nine foot. Let's go in here first. One of the smaller bedrooms. Walk-in closet that's good size. Another bedroom. Tall ceilings in here too. Good size closet. Like the windows over the stairway. And now we're into the master. Pretty decent size. They've got two big end tables, which are really a chest of drawers or nightstands that are chest of drawers. They've got a wing chair and a chest. Tiled floor in the bathroom. You have double vanities that are separated, which is nice. You have private commode room, linen closet. You have the walk-in closet. And then a nice, large stand-up shower with a shelf and a seat. So nicely done. So a good sized room. So good use of space in this uh, home. It's not real big, but uh, 2,239 square feet built in 2016, but uh, the space is really nice. Um, can't argue with that at all. Okay, we'll take one more look at this main living area. This is where you spend your time. I like the backsplash back there too. Okay, ticket on this one is $499.9. If you'd like to see it, give me a text or call. Okay, we're inside 10854 Descanso Drive. This is uh, listed by Remax Edge. And like I said before, I can help you with any house in the state, whether it's listed by myself or another realtor. This one was built in uh, 2019. It is three bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths, and it is over a full basement. You have uh, 1,948 square feet on the upper two levels and about 1,000 square feet in the basement, which is finished. When you uh, step inside, you've got an attractive foyer. It's pretty good size, tray ceilings. Uh, you've got the office right to the left. Of course, could be used for another purpose as well. You have a uh, powder room right to the right. And you got the stairway going up and the stairway going down. And then you're into your main gathering room. So nice big, good size island, overlooks the uh, family room. It's got a nice gas log fireplace, plenty of room for furniture. They got a big uh, sectional in here, plus plenty of room for a couple more chairs over here. You have a good size dining area. They have a four top, but heck, that could be an eight top for if you really wanted it. Got a pantry. You got Tile backsplash plus granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, decent cabinets, gas cooktop, dishwasher tucked under, good size island. The four stools tucked in. Coming this way, we've got uh, a covered patio. And this is real convenient to do your grilling on. You can bring it right into your dining room table or to the counter to work on. Don't have to traipse through the living room or anything. A little mud room here with a seat for mittens and book bags and coats and all those good things. Got a coat closet right here. And then we're into the large garage with that big bump out. So it's not a real deep garage. You couldn't get a full-size truck in here, but uh, nice storage built in and plenty of room to store all your stuff. Let's go see what the uh, upstairs looks like. 
Okay, heading upstairs, we have carpeted stairway, which cuts down on the noise. It's nice and wide. Good light here. Tall ceilings, I like that. One bedroom down at this end. Real good light. Room in here, it's got a decent closet and you got room for a chest of drawers and a desk or something in this corner. It's double vanity, hall bath, laundry room, mechanicals closet, the other bedroom, a little smaller. Got a hall uh, linen closet and then we're into the master. Pretty decent size. And they got a king plus two nightstands, foot stool at the bottom of the bay, at the base of the bed, and a chest of drawers. Good size walk in closet. Double vanities in the bathroom, tile floor, private commode room, and a nicely tiled big shower with a seat. So, like all that. Let's go see what the basement looks like. Okay, hit the bottom of the stairs. You have the other half bath. You have a big storage closet, which is nice in the basement. You have uh, your mechanicals. Some more storage under the stairs. And then you have a real good sized room here. That just as they have it, it could be multi-purpose. You know, workout room, pool table, ping pong table, card table. You've got... Uh, big sectional to watch your movies on and uh back there you've got uh stubbed in for a uh, wet bar if you'd like like i said i know a guy and uh, need something to finish off a house i can help you with all of that so good space down here about a thousand square feet uh the taxes on this are 52.68 a year the hoa is a hundred dollars i did notice there's no uh lawnmower in either of these two garages. So I'm thinking that maybe uh, lawn care might be taken care of on that. And the ticket for this uh, two story with, oh, 4,000 square feet really, or 3,000 square feet, excuse me. The ticket on this uh, big two story, nicely done, with the basement is 524,900. We've got an attractive clubhouse here. Gotta like the outdoor fireplace. Walk around the side here. Nice place to hang out. Looks like they've got, uh, you know, multi-purpose room in there that you could probably rent out. Back here, you got a kid's playground. Couldn't be any windier today if it tried. You got some walking paths back there and you got a nice big pool. So nice amenities in this uh, Anderson Hall subdivision. Hey, did you hear Zillow just named Indianapolis the number four hottest housing market in the United States. Good houses here are still selling fast. If you're interested, hit me up. Uh, there's good reason why over half of my customers are repeat customers. I work harder to make good things happen. The Anderson Hall neighborhood is not only just a great neighborhood and place to live, but there is just so much to do all around the area. Uh, within a half hour, it is crazy how much stuff there is. I'm gonna set it up on the map here so you can just see a little more clearly just how much there is around it. Um, let's start with access. You're literally five minutes to I-69. I mean, it cuts along one side and State Road 37 cuts down the other. They're both about five minutes away. They both take you down to the Beltway 465, and that'll take you anywhere in the entire metro area you wanna go. Or you can shoot straight downtown and you're gonna be at this circle in about 40 minutes. All along these uh, highways are uh, a huge number of jobs. All along 69 and 37, you've got uh, distribution centers and factories um, scattered around. There's a whole lot of healthcare and educational jobs. Um, down along the Beltway and along 37, you've got all kinds of retail jobs. And then there's just other kinds of office work all over the, uh, the area. And then actually along uh, right where 69 and 37 kind of come together, you've got um, a lot of financial services. You have Freedom Mortgage, you have 
uh, Forum Credit Union, you have the student loan servicers, and then just below that, you got Roche Diagnostics, which is a Fortune 500 company. Okay, let's talk schools. Within five minutes is the Cumberland Road Elementary, the Sand Creek Intermediate, and the Fishers Junior High School and High School. They are all rated A uh, by niche.com, and the entire school system is ranked number eight out of 290 school systems in the entire state. That makes it a top 3% school system. That's crazy good. And then a little further away, about a half hour, you have two Catholic schools which are rated either A plus or in the top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the country. That's uh, Cathedral and Garen Catholic. And then you have uh, Heritage Christian right down at the Beltway, which is an A plus rated school and that's for grades K through 12. And plus there's other private schools around too if that's uh, of interest to you. Okay, let's talk medical. Scattered around uh, in about every direction within anywhere from five to 25 minutes are our hospitals for uh, the Riverview system, the community system, the IU Health, and the Ascension St. Vincent. And then around each one of those hospitals is all kinds of ancillary uh, medical buildings with uh, physician groups and physical therapy and occupational therapy and neuro and you know just every specialty that you can think of orthopedic and uh, um, surgery centers okay so plenty of medical facilities uh, just really close at hand with 27,000 uh, kids in the Fishers uh, city there are all kinds of things for the kids to do everything from you know rock climbing to oh uh jimborees and just all kinds of different things to do and we'll, we'll talk about that in another day along with uh, maybe all the parks that there are in the fishers uh parks and rec department okay let's talk entertainment for just a second uh, there's a new event center going in right by the yard and it is um, going to have it. It's going to seat 8,500 people. It'll be the home of the Indy Fuel uh, minor league hockey team um, and also the Fishers Freight, which is going to be a new indoor football league team. And they'll have concerts there and uh, theater and comedy acts. And then you can, we can go over to the Nickel Plate Amphitheater. It seats over 6,000, has a full slate of events in the summertime with music. And then uh, oh, up at Connor Prairie, which is a huge regional attraction. Um, it also has music in the summer at Symphony on the Prairie. And uh, we're gonna take a tour through those a little later in this video. And we're also gonna sneak into Ruoff Music Center, which, get this, in 2018, it sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. Uh, and they have a, a tremendous uh, uh, slate of performers all summer long, all top acts. When we're done there, we're gonna uh, swing by a couple golf courses, take a look at River Glen and Ironwood, two of the best courses in the city. And we're gonna stop into Top Golf. That's always a lot of fun. Uh, and then we're going to wrap this up pretty much with a tour through some of the shopping and restaurants that are available at the Hamilton Town Center, which is only five minutes away. And State Road 37 uh, has a whole ton of shopping uh, opportunity there. And that's only five minutes in the other direction. And we'll swing down by the yard um, in the Fishers District, which is maybe about 10 minutes away. And it has some great restaurants. And it's another walkable outdoor mall like uh, Hamilton Sound Town Center. And while I'm at both of those places, I'm gonna share two or three of my favorite restaurants in each one, and they are really good. Hey, and then stick around. I'm gonna give you that current market update to just to wrap everything up. Okay, would you like to learn more about real estate in Fishers or the greater Indianapolis area? Or maybe you wanna walk through a home that you've seen advertised text me or book a call. Let's jump into Tahoe and go take a look. Let's start with the music scene. Hey, and if you've seen any of these videos before or parts of these videos, you feel free to bop ahead to a segment that you haven't seen or that maybe you want to see it again. Okay, let's go. If you're uh, considering moving to Fishers or the greater Indianapolis area, you'll be uh, sure to want to pick up our relocation guide. Yeah, our, my staff and I have put together the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy free in the comments section below. I'm sitting outside the, what will be, the new Fishers Event Center. This is slated to open in December of 2024. It is a massive project. 
It's uh, $170 million and will anchor a $550 million project that oh, will encompass this entire area with shops and restaurants and other fun things to do. This will be home to the Indy Fuel, which is a minor league hockey team uh, of the Chicago Blackhawks. And it'll they'll also host other sporting events, uh, including the uh, Fisher's Freight, which will be an indoor football league team that'll open, I believe, in 2025. Um, it will also host uh, music and comedy and theater and seat anywhere from 6,500 to 8,500 people. And this is all within walking distance of the yard. Yeah, Nickel Plate Amphitheater in Fisher's, Indiana. This uh, facility seats 6,000 people, lawn style seating. They have a full slate of different kinds of music throughout the summertime and fall, uh, something for everybody. One of the nice things is you can eat at one of the local uh, restaurants, come watch the show, enjoy it, and then go finish the night off at a local pub. Hey, this is a ticket you might want to score. Okay, our music tour continues. We're at Connor Prairie, which is a large regional uh, tourist attraction. It is open year-round. They have a variety of activities, uh, including hot air balloons and, uh, oh, the, what is this, 150 or 200, 200 year old uh, working farm. There's a lot that goes on here. Uh, unfortunately, it's February and we're not going to get to see a whole lot of it. But so in the summertime, they have what's called Symphony on the Prairie. And the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra puts on uh, 12 concerts throughout the summertime. And all that area back there seats 8,500 people. Um, in 2023, they featured the music of Harry Potter, uh, the Star Spangled Fourth of July. They had tributes to uh, Marshall Tucker, the Fab Four, uh, Journey, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, uh, they did a, a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, theme. They just have a lot of fun. And when you come out here, what you do is you uh, you bring your blanket and your maybe your lawn chairs and a picnic basket with uh, dinner or you know, some snacks to eat on and your favorite uh, beverage. And hey, it's a good time, it really is. I know people that have like tickets for the whole season, all 12 nights. I usually make it out once, maybe twice at the most, but uh, hey, I have a busy summer, so, but hey, it is a good time. Okay, let's uh, finish our music tour with uh, the cream de la cream. Uh, let's go look at Ruoff Music Center. This is Ruoff Music Center. Now it's February and things are buttoned up really tight. Uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here, but at any rate, I'll flash you some photos. You've got to, you've got to think about this. This seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music, all-star lineup. You can get a season pass even. And uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world. In fact, in 2018, Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles. You can tailgate, you can walk right in. And then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early. You can stay till the very end. You catch the encore, you walk out. It's five minutes to get out of the parking lot and you're another, what, two, three, five minutes home? Hey, it's a great time. The music scene can offer a whole lot of fun, especially in the summertime. Next, let's take a look at what's going on with golf. We'll take a look at the River Glen Country Club, the Ironwood Golf Course, and we'll stop in at Top Golf. Hey, let's talk golf. Fishers has been ranked by one golf magazine or another as the number two most underrated golf community in the entire United States. So I asked uh, my stepson, Seve, and one of his former college teammates, which were the best golf courses in Fishers? And they both independently came up with the same two names, River Glen and Ironwood. We're gonna take a tour of both of them uh, in just a second here. It's a uh, breezy day in February, and uh, while it's pretty comfortable, the course is closed because it's wet right now, and they're trying to get it into shape. But uh, this course is really pretty. They call it uh, nature's course. It sits along the White River, and um, it is a really delightful course to play. I'm gonna walk around here and see what we can see. 
Got 18 holes here, plus a driving range. They have uh, men's, women's, and junior leagues. They also have a very nice large pool and pool memberships. Uh, they also have a lot of event space here. They do banquets. In fact, uh, years ago when I ran a mortgage company, we used to do our uh, celebration uh, breakfast meetings here. Very nice. Uh, there's three memberships. There's a regular, a junior, and a family fun, which includes the pool. But just standing here, you can really see just how pretty this course is. Nice big deck up there to look out over all of this. Really beautiful. River Glen Country Club. Okay, I'm at Ironwood Golf Club in uh, Fishers, Indiana. And it is the end of February. And look at that parking lot. It is full of golfers out playing. How cool. They've got a driving range. Nice. Lots of woods, water. And then over here, uh, they've got 27 hole course. Wines all over the place. Very pretty. Good course to play on. Well maintained. They uh, have a variety of leagues. Uh, a full junior program with leagues, camps uh, for kids all the way from five and up. They've got uh, the driving range and lessons. And they have memberships for uh, singles, family, junior, senior, and young professionals. So take your pick. And then up there at the clubhouse, they also have some banquet facilities. This is uh, a course that if you move to Fishers, Indiana, you just might want to play. While we're talking golf, let's talk top golf. Uh, this is a Tuesday afternoon in February, and the parking lot still has a good number of cars, but this will fill up and uh, be crazy about half the time. Inside, they've got a hundred climate controlled bays. And this is more like going bowling than it is playing golf. I mean, you don't have to have your own clubs. It's like uh, when you go to the bowling alley and yeah, there's some people that walk in with all the official gear and they've got their own ball and bag and all that and shoes. But, uh, you know, the rest of us go in there, pick a ball out, stumble to the uh, lane and uh, throw it down there. Well, here at Top Golf. Um, it's kind of the same. You don't have to have your own clubs. Uh, there's no cost to rent them. Um, they have all sorts of events and you can see the bays here from the outside and then uh, out there into your hitting area. The uh, balls are uh, high tech and they score for you. They do all kinds of events and games. And uh, one of the neat things is there's like a bar and a restaurant. There's 200 TV scattered throughout. And uh, there's even uh, fire pits up on top of the uh, rooftop terrace. So this is great for uh, old birthday parties and uh, other kinds of get togethers. Uh, companies uh, do outings here. Uh, it's a lot of fun and you know, you get to hit a bucket of balls and if you don't want to hit the whole bucket, somebody else will hit yours and uh, you can sit down and drink. Hey, it's a good time one way or another. Okay, next we're gonna take a drive and give you a feel for all the shopping that's available within 10 minutes, plus some of my favorite restaurants then stick around for that market update. Get through here, it's got a, just a really wide variety of shops and really good restaurants. And in the areas surrounding uh, as well. So tons and tons of uh, retail shops and uh, food places and what have you. You've got uh, livery here, which is, oh, I'd call upscale Mexican. It's a Cunningham property and all of their restaurants are great. You've got Ford's Garage, which has uh, oh, really good burgers. And it's kind of interesting, fun place, the, the way some of their marketing and, and just little things like uh, napkins and, oh, different things that they do inside that really are kind of interesting make it kind of fun you have a total wine for all your uh, beer and wine needs you can't find it there I'm not sure you can find it anywhere over here you got DSW and Ben's Warehouse and oh, just all sorts of different places. I'm gonna take a ride down this little street. 
very walkable. You got an old navy here. You got Lita, Express, K Jewelers, Victoria's Secret, Soma. It's a fun place to shop. shopping than I can do through 21 finish line American Eagle over here five guys yes the three dog bakery my wife spends too much money there On the corner here, we have uh, pies and pints. Pretty good pizza, real good salads. Over here is Stone Creek, another Cunningham property, one of my more favorite restaurants. And right in front of us is Dick's Sporting Goods. So just all kinds of uh, opportunity here to satisfy your retail and dining pleasure. Got a big movie theater to go along with it. Turning left into this first subdivision at Town and Country, you've got a Walmart and a Kohl's and some fast food places and oh, a rent -a center and just uh, a whole lot more. This has, you know, the usual array of uh, uh, shops or stores. You got a lot of big box stores here, Dollar Tree, Staples. You got a GameStop and a uh, Great Clips, GNC, just, you know, about whatever you want. And we're coming up here on a big Walmart. Got a White Castle there for your midnight dining pleasure. fast food outlets. You got a Steak and Shake, another bank, Jimmy John's and Starbucks. Over here we have Aldi's which uh, seems to be hot right now. Another strip center, Subway, Nail Spas. And we're coming up on Pleasant Street. The uh, post office will be off to the left. You've got some county buildings. And now we're gonna be into another strip center. We're looking at the back of Tractor Supply, another big box store. Kind of fun to go in there sometimes, even if you're not a farmer. We've got a Walgreens on the corner. Salvation Army Family Store, Hobby Lobby, Big Pet Supply Plus, another dentist, Aaron's Furniture, and you got the BMV. Always good to know where the BMV is. They actually run a um, pretty good operation. Uh, BMVs used to be atrocious in Indiana, but uh, Lately, of uh, the last 10 years, have really come around. And now you've got an at-home decorating superstore. Um, there's just so many places. I could keep going and there's, there's more. Uh, I'm gonna turn around and go on the other side of the road now and show you what's over there. Okay, we're crossing back over uh, State Highway 37 and we're on Pleasant Street, coming into a whole nother strip center. T-Mobile, another bank. You've got uh, Kalo's uh, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge over here. Okay, we're coming up on Best Buy. Seems I gotta go here all the time for something technical. It's usually a pain, not because of Best Buy, because maybe I don't know what I'm doing. At any rate, here's a PetSmart. And it's just one big box store after another. We've got the Shoe Carnival. And then we've got Home Goods. Hey, 
Hey, and TJ Maxx, now, it's my kind of store. And then you got a Ross, and a Barnes and Noble. So just one right after another. And we're not done because we're coming up to some of the bigger ones. We've got Meyer here. There's a Meyer gas station across the street. There's also a crew car wash over there. If you're not from the area, you'll want to get to know crew car wash. Great operation. I'm going to leave there, drive across the street, see if we can drive by the front of this door without having to stop and spend some money. And here we are at Lowe's. I spend enough here. I have not one, but two credit cards. Just teasing. One's for business, one's for house. And as we come out of here, there's still another couple stores. There's an LA Fitness, there's a big Goodwill store. Uh, they do have an open there. Uh, you don't see too many of those around here, but uh, Hey, there are just so many shopping opportunities along here. We're getting ready to head into the yard and I wanted to stop just on the outskirts here. This is Portillo's. And uh, I'm not a big fast food guy, but this is a place I make exceptions for. When I was in high school uh, in Chicagoland, these were little hot dog carts on the corner and we would go there at the end of the night and get a Chicago dog or an Italian sa uh, sausage sandwich or their big beef. And uh, boy, I think they're the best in the world. I like my uh, big beef with sweet peppers and I like it dipped. Try it. We're coming into the yard, which is a recent development, maybe in the last five years. Uh, lots of restaurants, uh, other shops as well. Uh, this is the Hamilton uh, County Tavern and Kitchen. It is a Hughes Culinary property. They are fabulous, all of them. Make a little right here on the cobblestone street. You've got uh, some upscale apartments up above, some different uh, types of shops like uh, Oh, uh, Hot Sauna and Athletic Annex. Over here you have Rise, which is an excellent uh, breakfast place. You have Kincaid's Meat Market, which uh, goes back for many, many decades. Some salons, you've got a winery, you've got Slapfish, you've got a Mexican cantina here on the corner. And right here you have one of my very favorites, which is San Giovese. It's one of the better Italian places around. They have good lasagna. They have maybe the best chicken parm in the entire city. Uh, over here you have Sun King Brewery. Uh, everybody loves their uh, cream ale. You've got the Test Kitchen. And then over here we have the Havana Cigar Lounge, if you're into that. And then the 1933 Lounge and the 101 Beer Pub. And there's a few others too. Um, the 1933 Lounge is interesting. It's another Hughes culinary uh, property. And you can notice up there on the sign it says 1933 Lounge by St. Elmo. Well, St. Elmo is uh, the most famous steakhouse in the city. It opened in 1902. People from all over the country uh, eat there when they're in town. All the, you find all the celebrities and sportscasters and all of that. Um, it was named because uh, during the Prohibition years, there was a speakeasy above St. Elmo's. And uh, so this property right here, the 1933 Lounge, is modeled after the uh, a speakeasy. My wife and I ate there the other night for Valentine's Day. It was great. They have to die for shrimp cocktail, uh, prime steaks, and I had a slab of prime rib that was just fabulous. Um, hey, it's something you might want to check out. 
January housing numbers are in and drum roll, lower mortgage rates have caused buyers and sellers both to jump into the market. But so, demand still exceeds available inventory, which means for buyers, they need to be prepared. They need to be pre-approved. They need to know what they want and they need to be ready to pull the trigger when they do find the right house. But so for sellers, tighter inventory has made prices sticky, making it a great time to be a seller. However, I understand if you're sitting on a 3% mortgage and are hesitant to buy at 6%, but if that's the case, then maybe you need to look at new construction. Most people do not realize that new construction homes does not necessarily mean nine months. Most builders have what they call quick move in homes. They may be ready today or anytime in the next 30, 60, 90 days. And I'm seeing 30 year fixed rate mortgages from the builders of like 4.99 and five and a quarter percent. Those are good. No, those are great. And for more info on those opportunities, check out these videos. Hey, be sure to tune in. Every Tuesday, we do a tour of new construction uh, homes for sale. On Thursday, we do a tour of existing homes for sale and the neighborhoods they're located in. And then on Saturday, we do a segment on living in Indiana, what it's all about. So whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you like this video or found it helpful, you're gonna love this next one. Watch it now.